Welcome to my weekly Fabricate Friday video on my YouTube channel and blog. I'm Suzanne, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. Today's video is all about paper crafting. I'm here to share how easy it is to make a 3D project. I also sell the products I feature in this video. I hope you enjoy my free video tutorial and I would love to see you shop with me. Hello friends, it's me again and this time I have a very cool long skinny box. Um, and you know this could be it's a fold flat box so you can make a ton of them this would be awesome to put you know those tiny little bottles of liquor um, in or if say you wanted um, you know just a whole bunch of lint chocolates in here or um, a whole bunch of candies or even tall skinny bottles of perfume that sort of thing um, I love tall skinny boxes uh, and I've decorated all the sides because I didn't you never know what you're gonna want to use it for and the reason why I've chosen this particular uh, style today is because I want to feature some new dies. So I wanted you to see how you can incorporate dies, especially these fun ones. They cut a swoopy end, um, like a, a straight edge or a scalloped edge or a decorative edge. So I wanted to share how to do that with using a three-dimensional project. I have a piece of a Magenta Madness here, and uh, it is sized 10 inches by six and a half inches. On the long side, we are going to score at half an inch, at two, at eight, and nine and a half. All right, I'm gonna turn it round. And we are going to score at a half, two, three and a half, and five. Fold and burnish your score lines. Okay, I'm going to start on the um, side that we were going to put their adhesive on. So on this long side here, I'm going to wedge out. I'm going to take off this little square and this rectangle and then angle that. And that is a square and a rectangle removed. Then all I'm going to do is cut up on the score lines on both sides. Okay, so I always like to sort of think about how I would like this project to go. And if I was going to make it a tall box, um, this is always going to be at the back. So this opening here will be the top. So I like the top to be opened like that. So this one has to go. So I will remove this square completely. And then the other two, I'm just gonna cut in half. and wedge. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with uh, this. So if this was the top, this is going to be the bottom and it's going to come around. So these two will be my flaps and this one has to be removed. So I shall do that right away. Remove that one. Cut this one in half. Wedge, wedge. 
I also like to wedge these guys and then wedge here. When all is said and done, that's what you should have. I am going to put the tear and tape adhesive uh, on this wee little box. I'll do it. There's a better angle on that side. <laughs> so in case you're having troubles with our, uh, our new adhesives, and I know that some people struggle with them. I don't have much problem, but uh, some people do. So this is a really good alternative. I always just keep it in the bag. I just like to uh, cut off the, the Ziploc part and so that it's easy to grab. And I also really like to um, burnish it in to make sure that it's uh, stuck down. Then I'll just take my little uh, scissors here and sort of wedge underneath and then give that a pull. So now I'm closing the box up and everything seems to be perfect. So let's fold those. Oh, and you know what I forgot to do? Wedge these little guys so that they fit inside that a little better. All right. <laughs> I'm happy with that. All right, for a designer series paper, if you wanted to, you know, cover the entire box, uh, you're more than welcome to. Uh, let's see, which one was the front top there? This is Whisper White Thick, and I had a square of uh, one and a quarter by one and a quarter. So I'm going to adhere that like that. So what I ended up doing was I just took a, you know, three inch piece and then put the die along it. So now I have two pieces that have that little scalloped edge, which is lovely. And then, let's see here, that's the back. So I also have, uh, these pieces, I have four of them, and they're five and three quarters by one and a quarter. And I did, like that's striking, I think. And I, I took that wholly, and then I just die cut it. So it's kind of cool. It's definitely different how you would decorate a little box. I just think that it's just the smartest thing ever. So I've taken um, both, I'm putting the flat edge along each, right? So here's another flat edge. I'll put this one down and then I will take this and do you see what I'm saying? Like have two together. Now I don't have any of the Magenta Madness ribbon but that would go so nicely here. If you wanted to, you could just leave this box uh, like such. Or, you know, you don't have to necessarily, I actually like it without. I'm gonna take these off and just leave the front. But regardless, if you wanted to cover this with regular designer series paper, you would need two pieces, one and a quarter by one and a quarter. I'm gonna take these off because I like them without. I changed my mind. I'm a girl, I'm allowed. <laughs> So, uh, let's see. Okay, you guys, this is the quite curvy bundle, or stamp set, I should say. And I'm just gonna use the little hello. And bring out my Magenta Madness ink. So this is what the stamp set looks like. I'm just gonna use this Hello sentiment. I had this in my box of uh, 
die cuts and I'm not 100% sure which one where this is from. I'll be able to tell you in a second. I'm not sure. <laughs> but that's okay. We like to use up our items. And I'm pretty sure this came from a paper pumpkin. Because that's pretty darn close to magenta madness. Okay, so I'm just going to wrap it around twice. Hopefully I will have enough to do something with over here. Yes, I can just tie it. All right, I'm gonna tur cut off the excess real close here. Wow, I love that. And I think just for extra stability, I'm gonna throw a, just a quick mini dimensional right underneath the hello. There. So it stays where I want it to stay. So I guess I'm doing a um, long box. <laughs> I just think it's striking. I love this. So anyway, I thought I would share with you. Hopefully you like it. And um, yeah. That's it for me today. Thanks so much for joining and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. On screen are two more videos for inspiration. Click on the maple leaf for my blog or click on me to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.